Now it's time to configure the tasks page. This is the page that the users, the task processors, will use to select which work queue tasks they want to work on next. Instead of the system pushing the tasks into some particular user's inbox, this is a system where all the insurance claim reviewers will see all possible tasks once they're created. Then they select which one to work on and approve, deny, or send it to another reviewer. In the XEP Navigator, select the User Interface tab. Expand the Application UI node, right-click on Application UI, and select Add New Page. In the New Page dialog, for Label, enter Tasks, then click Finish. Expand the Interactions tab and add a new interaction. Scroll down to and select the TLQ Claims Queue Query. This is a task list query and you can tell by the little icon with a table and a check mark. By the way, do you see the other TLQ Claims Queue Query Work Queue task list query in the selector list? This is a system generated task list query that was created to provide a list of the work queues that we selected in order to filter the task list query on. Now click finish. Now let's select the new interaction. In the Properties pane, under the Refresh section at the right, check the box for On Page Load. Now select the Inputs tab, double-click the Work Queue Name entry, and select the Parameters tab. In the bottom pane, select the Param underscore Claims Work Queue, Work Queue Application Parameter. So let's click OK. By the way, when we add a task list query as an interaction on a page, and in the input tab, if we leave the work queue name parameter empty and link the interaction with a results list, XCP Designer will add the system generated query to the page interactions. This interaction is then linked to the drop down list widget above the results list so that the user can select from one of the work queues. And then the results list widget will only show tasks from the selected work queue. When we only have a single work queue, as with this tutorial, this drop down isn't needed since the work queue name input field can be and probably should be set at design time. So we can collapse the interactions pane now. From the widgets pane at the right, double click to add a results list widget to the layout. In the properties pane, for ID, enter tasks. Leave the title blank. On the right side under the data section for data service instance, let's select TLQ underscore claim Q query. Then click OK to acknowledge the connect to data service instance message box. Let me show you what we've just created by expanding the layout pane. Notice this column box above the tasks results list widget that was just added for us. It contains a way for a user to enter a queue name and then select the search button. So let's restore the layout view then save the Tasks tab, check the Problems tab for errors. Now that we have this Tasks page, we're ready to configure the user interface artifacts that we'll need when the user selects one of these tasks, specifically a couple of claim status pick list artifacts and the process UI pages for the first and second approval manual tasks.